put further direction, you have many space. Ah, okay. So it's the only difference that we had re respect to all the others. So it was like this. And I just delete the space, I save my file, and I run it. And now it works. So it was uh, some empty space, so probably now it runs. It doesn't. It runs. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. So probably now for all of you everything works. And let's go to look at what we have created, which is the final part of this presentation. Okay, so what we get? We get two nice files. One is a sub basin and one is a, a net numbered. Let's open first Cavone sub basin. And you will find the basin split in uh, sub basin. And each sub basin has its own ID. And this is uh, an important file. Uh, from which we start to build the input for the uh, RAM program of model. Okay, so uh, what we will do is like for each of these base of these sub basins, we extract the centroids. Uh, then we will interpolate the precipitation in that centroids. We will interpolate the air temperature in that centroid. We will compute the, uh, the radiation, short wave and long wave. We will compute the uh, evapotranspiration. And finally, we will run the rain for one of them. So now, uh, I think we are done with the registration. So this is the carbon input. Uh, the 